Before we dive into the clips, I wanted to ask you for a favor that won't take much of your time but would help me out a lot. Simply like this video now. Apparently, YouTube's algorithm prefers showing uploads that receive a high number of likes within the first 10 seconds of the video. After this is said, hello to another Ukraine war update. Today we will take a look at a number of recently released videos again and I hope you will find interesting what I want to show and tell you now. Let's start with the Ukrainian Rambo that got already mentioned in the title. Yes, you saw right. Here we see what has been reported as a Ukrainian soldier using a bow to shoot an arrow with an explosive attached to it in an undisclosed location. Due to its weight, the arrow lands pretty short and explodes afterwards. What many people do not know is that there is already another video from the 2014 war in Ukraine that also showed a Ukrainian soldier using a bow to shoot an explosive. This video was uploaded to this channel back then but I had to delete it during a YouTube purge and now sadly can't find it anymore. Here we see what appears to be a rather young Russian conscript driving his fellow soldiers mad by repeatedly failing to properly load a round into a mortar tube. The conscript looks visibly overwhelmed and tries to put the grenade in the wrong way and dead twice. Reminds me a lot of the famous RPG meme if you remember it. This is a rather intense video of a Ukrainian reconnaissance unit during what I believe is a probing attack on Russian-held territory in the Zaporizhia region. The video is recorded by a helmet cam and shows the soldiers being caught in intense Russian artillery fire on the main road between Pyatikatki and Jerebinki south of Lobkov. Excuse my spelling here. The reason that leads me to believe that this is a probing attack is that this unit is basically a volunteer reconnaissance unit as mentioned before and most videos that have recently been uploaded by this unit were probing attacks. Volunteer units are often used for this task and are also willing to do this kind of operations. In short, they go to the places where others do not want to go or simply can't go. The men are part of the Sonchko reconnaissance unit what is quite interesting since the videos they uploaded before were all from probing attacks in the area of Bakhmut what means the unit recently got deployed to the southern front to support Ukraine. Ukraine's offensive operations there. All in all, the men look very well drilled and act calm during the situation. They keep their distance and do not give up their positions immediately after facing Russian artillery fire even if they are totally exposed. I get quite the impression that they wanted to trigger a Russian response on purpose and therefore took the direct path over the main road. The Russians revealed their strength to them and that's what this mission was most likely all about. Many of such operations go by a simple way that can be best described as management by happening. This basically means declaring the final outcome as goal everything was aimed for. This works very well for probing attacks. If the enemy is too strong you basically pull back with the newly gained intel. If the enemy is weak you keep advancing and capture what you can capture. Here it seems the men decided that they lacked the means to further advance into the enemy-held territory and started a coordinated retreat. Still under Russian artillery fire, they moved back towards friendly-held territory. They utilized the basic modern military principle of fire and movement for this. This is a small unit-level tactic used to maneuver on the battlefield in the presence of the enemy, especially when under fire like in this case. While it does not seem to look like exactly according to the textbook, it has to be noted that things rarely turn out to be like this. To put an emphasis on this, I quote a rule from Murphy's Law of Combat here that simply says, no battle plan ever survives first contact with the enemy. If you watch till now make sure to keep watching since there is a lot of interesting stuff coming. Also make sure to like and comment if you have not already and feel free to subscribe, hit the bell and enable notifications. <laughs> this helps this channel a lot. I have to ask you for this because I know a lot of people who support this channel are actually silent viewers and might are not aware of how important this is for this channel due to the way YouTube works. This video you see right now shows a small Russian squad-sized mechanized assault on a Ukrainian trench in an undisclosed location. Not much info about the background of the clip was shared and it simply stated that these were soldiers of the 2nd Army Corps of the Russian Federation conducting an attack in the northern direction. We see a group of Russian soldiers behind the BMP engaging a Ukrainian held trench from close range. It seems the Ukrainians were outnumbered here and had to give up the trench as one Ukrainian soldier can be seen fleeing at the end of the video. The Russians are using the BMP as cover and base of fire to gain fire superiority over the Ukrainians in order to build up enough pressure to overwhelm the defenders inside the trench with the aim of driving them out of their position. Here we can see a Ukrainian soldier bailing out of the trench to which the Russian soldiers and the BMP quickly react by leaving their static position to push up further towards the trench before the video ends. The soldiers are moving together with the BMP and keep using it as cover from small arms fire. It looks like the crash BMP on the right side of the trench we saw before was also Russian and the advancing element was attempting to relieve pressure from them but that is just my assumption. 
In this clip we see a low-flying Russian alligator helicopter somewhere on a beach in what I believe is Crimea. The helicopter is flexing its muscles by creating a rainbow for civilians who are present at the scene. From rainbow to rainbow I guess. The rainbow is actually created by the water kicked up from the low-flying helicopter. Here is another video showing a similar flex as well. This time, it features a Russian Mi-28 that is demonstrating its maneuverability to curious bystanders. Here the helicopter is also flying low. The Mil Mi-28 also called Havoc in the West is a Soviet all-weather day-night military tandem two-seat anti-armor attack helicopter. It is capable of a roll angle of up to 70 degrees and all in all a machine that should not be underestimated and has to be taken serious even if this flexing and maneuvering looks unnecessary. Speaking of flexing, here we see a group of Russian soldiers posing in front of an abandoned Bradley M2. I think they want to create the impression that they captured it, but this is most likely not the case. This helmet cam video that is most likely archive footage filmed in May 2023 shows a Ukrainian soldier operating under Russian artillery fire in the city of Bakhmut. While it is most likely from May, the video just surfaced recently and was therefore included here. It shows the effects the prolonged fighting had on the city very well, I think, and the video gives you a good sense of what walking through it actually looks like. The battle has been compared to the historic Battle of Stalingrad many times, even if it was way smaller in scale than the actual Battle of Stalingrad. What I find very stunning in this clip here is how calm these soldiers are. They seem pretty relaxed, even if they are out in the open, what makes them easily spotable by Russian drones. The soldier wearing the camera also makes bold offensive moves by firing at suspected Russian positions while being quite exposed. Seems like a Ukrainian artillery shell lands shortly after on a building right in front of him. I say this based on his reaction to it. He basically seems quite happy about the building being leveled. Some of you who watched all my Ukraine war updates so far will might remember this video here, but this time it is filmed from another perspective during a mechanized assault of the 3rd Separate Assault Brigade in the area of Klishchivka. Here it is recorded by a machine gunner wearing a helmet cam. Back then I mentioned a huge amount of helmet cam videos created by the fighters of this brigade, and this leads to engagements being filmed by multiple cameras from multiple angles. This has not only the benefit that it gives us more insight into several roles within the squads involved, it also serves as evaluation tool for the soldiers themselves who can discuss their missions afterwards and improve their tactics. This is one of the major reasons why helmet camps are used by soldiers. It makes it easy to analyze the events in retro perspective and learn from it, be it mistakes or well-conducted textbook approaches. Today it seems like all videos of the 3rd Separate Assault Brigade are actually filmed by machine gunners. They have one of the most important roles within a squad anyway, so it is quite interesting to see them conducting their duty. As always in this video, the terrain they are fighting in is quite difficult, and due to the fields surrounding them, their ability to safely move is very limited. Their enemy is dug in and so the machine gunners have to use their weapons to cover the advance of friendly troops or to put out suppressing fire to fix and pin down the enemy. This is what machine guns are actually made for and it is easier to gain fire superiority with one of those in your squad. In this helmet cam video we see the launch of a Ukrainian improvised RPG warhead not going according to plan. The rocket explodes in mid-air right in front of the soldier just a few seconds after being fired. The last video for today shows a dual Russian anti-tank guided missile attack on a Ukrainian trench that has been coordinated by a Russian-operated drone. First the drone observed the trench and then two missiles were launched by the Russians that struck the position. Unclear why the impacts are only shown from the screen of the soldier's cell phone and were not uploaded from the drone's perspective. Looks like both missiles roughly hit the exact same spot. That's it for this video guys. As always thank you very much for watching. Make sure to like, comment and share. This helps this channel so much you cannot imagine it. Also it motivates me to keep doing this format. Also make sure to subscribe, hit the bell and enable all notifications for this channel. That way you will be notified if a new Ukraine war update gets uploaded. If you missed my last update check it out here. If you want to support me further you can do so by buying me a coffee. I currently have not slept for two days because I binge created videos for you guys so a coffee would help. Again thank you until the next time.